Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Upgraded Sets. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Vidala's Rig. Vidala's Rig was actually changed in version 2.4. Um, they added and changed a couple things about the set and, uh, and I think it does make it a little bit more attractive. Although it was always was a very good set for a low level Amazon and, uh, and I'll explain. But as for right now, let's take a look at the set together. Let's talk about the set and uh, we'll see you know, what it could potentially be good for. So right off the bat, we have Vidala's Barb ba Long Battle Bow, which is uh, two-handed damage, 3 to 18, fast attack speed, uh, required dexterity 50, and strength 40. It only has a level 14 requirement, which is relatively low, and uh, right about the time you hit Act 2 Normal Difficulty. So a uh, very good Act 2 Normal Difficulty set. We have 1 to 20 lightning damage on this bow, which is... Uh, Okay for 14, uh, it's actually will do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, it's not really going to carry you or anything, but it will definitely help. Uh, now, it also has a two-piece bonus of uh, plus eight attack rating per level up to 792 attack rating. Um, and if you multiply that out by 14, that's eight times 14. So at level 14, when you put on this set, you will be looking at 112 uh, attack rating, which is a lot of attack rating for 14 and will help you hit most targets. Uh, we also have a Vidala's Ambush, which is the leather armor. Uh, now the leather armor is uh, 314 defense, it has 15 strength, level 14, and it does have a defense based on character level of 2.5 per character level for three items. Um, and if we multiply that out and we add it to the original value um, at 14, that's 14 times 2.5. Uh, plus the original value of the armor before it gets uh, set bonus, which is 67. So we're looking at uh, plus 67, uh, which is only about 83.5 defense at level 14. So uh, so not super, super high, but definitely nice. Uh, it does get a 50 defense flat bonus on there as well, which is helping it out. And it also gets plus 11 dexterity, which is going to help you fire that bow. It's very nice. It uh, gives you a little bit more attack rating. It gives you a little bit of defense as well. Um, if you were using this without the bow, like if you just found this, the dexterity could also potentially give you a nice block chance increase. But obviously, in the full set, you can't get that block chance increase because, well, you know, uh, you're using a bow. Uh, we also get a two-piece bonus of 24% fire resistance, which is great for uh, Act 2 because there's a lot of fire monsters there. There's also a lot of lightning monsters there, too, though, so uh, hopefully we get some lightning resistance. Uh, we also have Vidala's Snare Amulet, which is 15 to life, 20% uh, cold resistance. And it does have a two-piece bonus of 50% better chance of magic items. So if you can find at least two pieces, like for instance maybe the boots and the amulet, you can get 50% magic find, 7% uh, mana steal, 75 to attack rating, 30% uh, faster on walk, all resistance is 8. Lots of nice effects there for, uh, for a two-piece bonus. I think uh, a lot of people will agree that 50% magic find on the uh, amulet combined with uh, one other piece can be very effective early game for some free magic find. Um, we also get uh, the boots, which is Vidala's Fedlock, Fet Fetlock, which is the light-plated boots. They have 11 uh, defense. They are 30% faster run walk, 150 to maximum stamina. Uh, all resistance is 8 for their two-piece bonus. And they have relatively low requirements with 50 strength uh, and level 14. Usually by the time you hit 14, level 15, 50 strength is not that bad. Uh, now this whole set is a little difficult to put together, I've noticed sometimes. And you do have to keep that in mind. Um, the two-piece bonus on this is not bad at all. Uh, with 75 to attack rating and 7% mana steal. 7% uh, mana steal, by the way, was added. So this is a new thing for the set. And that 7% mana steal is actually really great. Especially considering anytime you're running an Amazon low level, you're usually burning lots of mana um, using any of the abilities. I mean, multi-shot, strafe, freezing arrow, ice arrow, cold arrow, fire arrow, exploding arrow, immolation arrow. They're all such mana hog abilities. And having 7% mana steal on this set is a great choice. Uh, this set could potentially also be utilized very well by a, um, a low-level enchant sorceress. You could even use it on a paladin, to be honest, um, because it has some very nice effects on the full set. And let's talk about those. So we have 50% piercing attack on here so before we ever get to level 30 which is the level that you have to be to get piercing attack we've got 50 percent piercing attack on this set bonus absolutely great 
Uh, we also have 75 to attack rating. 148 maximum cold damage based on character level. So this is a new change. They added a 1.5 per character level uh, cold damage uh, to this set. So at level 14, which is when you will utilize this set, uh, we are looking at a total of, uh, what is that? Uh, so uh, 14 times 1.5, which is 15.5 uh, uh, cold damage. And, uh, and it will scale with us as we go along. So uh, so it's going to continually scale. Uh, let me multiply that out one more time. Uh, let's say right. 14 times 1. Dang it. 14 times 1.5. 21. Sorry. 21 cold damage. <coughs> I must have uh, hit the buttons wrong. So we got 21 cold damage, which is actually really nice. So we got 20 lightning damage, 21 cold damage. Um, all of which adds up very nicely um, on our damage bar here. Uh, we should be uh, hitting pretty hard uh, at the moment with 10 to 226, but of course that's because we're a high-level character. Uh, that maximum cold damage, by the way, will uh, go nicely into a freezing arrow if you use it with a freezing arrow when you hit level 30. Um, hmm. We get the 7% Mana Steel, of course, which is the new addition. We have Freeze's target on this, which means the targets will be stuck in position. Um, I'll play around with that a little bit later. We also have uh, plus 10 to Strength and plus 15 to Dexterity, both of which are very nice to have on a set. Uh, let's uh, let's go play around with this, shall we? So if we go out into uh, any place, doesn't really matter where, as long as they're not cold immune monsters, uh, let's try the River of Flame. And uh, if we fire our bow at our targets, um, you will see that they get stuck in a uh, frozen animation. If I can hit them. If I can hit them. <laughs> uh, let me go to uh, Nightmare Difficulty. This 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 uh, character is not really well set up. Poor, poor me. Let's try that one more time with less dying action. Could have, would have also helped if I had a, uh, another attack. But I wanted to show the uh, freezing effect and the pierces effect together um, instead of simply murdering everything. So as you can see here, um, the targets are completely frozen. And uh, every now and then you will see the arrows will actually pierce through and hit multiple targets. Um, so I can hit two at a time. This piercing effect is extremely effective at level 14 because you have no way to get piercing um, you know, without it coming from an item and um, and combined with the cold damage the freezes target um, the attack rating based on character level the defense and uh, and even the nice uh, bonus to magic find all of it adds up to a very solid level 14 set which can really power your amazon through uh, act 2 normal difficulty i mean you will just absolutely demolish um, now of course we can also upgrade this set and um, and we're going to have some fun doing that. So let's upgrade the bow first. I think this is the obvious choice uh, for a Ral, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. If you had this set toward the end of Normal Difficulty, you might be inclined to try and upgrade it and see if you could prolong the use of the set. And um, Badala's Barb definitely has some relatively low damage, so let's see how it upgrades with uh, one tier. So we're going to go from 3 to 18, uh, 50 dex, 40 strength, level 14 to 10 to 42, 95 dex, 8 level, uh, sorry, 80 strength, and level 25, which goes up to 30 when equipped with the green bonus. Now, um, not a bad upgrade for level 30. Um, I could I could see doing that, uh, perhaps towards the end of normal difficulty. Um, it might make sense if you happen to have the full set and you didn't have anything really better. Um, maybe somebody handed you the full set and you just haven't found a better bow yet. That could make a, a decent upgrade. Uh, the armor is probably going to upgrade very nicely. Uh, the leather armor is going to go to the, uh, what, serpent skin. It's going to go from 67 defense. You know, let me move myself out of the way. I always forget to do this. Uh, 67 defense, uh, 15 strength, level 14, to 170 defense, 43 strength, level 24, which goes to 29 when equipped. Uh, the boots can also be upgraded, and this actually might be a decent upgrade for a magic finder. Uh, you can go from 11 defense, 50 strength, level 14, to 41 defense, 95 strength, level 30. 
Uh, all in all, not a terrible first tier upgrade and could potentially be okay to lead you into nightmare difficulty. Uh, you're definitely going to need some more resistances. But, um, I mean, for the most part, I feel like that uh, was actually a halfway decent upgrade. They could, they could do you well going into Nightmare Difficulty. The 50% Pierce will save your skill points, so you don't have to put as many points into Pierce right away. The Freeze's target is definitely nice, and so is the Mana Steel. All of which very well um, go with an Amazon who is uh, trying to make her way into Nightmare Difficulty. So I would definitely hang on to that set for this particular purpose. Um, let's upgrade it one more time. I don't think it's going to be a good upgrade one more time, but let's go ahead and do it anyway, shall we? So the uh, Vidalis Barbo doesn't have any enhanced damage, which means it's probably going to upgrade very poorly to the upper tier. So we're going to go from 10 to 42, 95 dex, 80 strength, level 25, to the Crusader's Bow of 15 to 63, 121 dex, 97 strength, level 57 without the green bonus, 69 with the green bonus. Uh, it just it doesn't have any enhanced damage on it, and because it doesn't have any enhanced damage on it, it's very, very poor. Um, now granted, generally you want to use this set with an elemental damage build. Um, so the physical damage on the bow doesn't really matter too terribly much, but uh, by the time you hit 69, you kind of want something better than 15 to 63. <laughs> now, the Serpent Skin Armor uh, is 170 defense, uh, 43 strength, level 24, and that can be upgraded with Lemco and a Perfect Diamond. And that goes to the Worm Hide, which is 431 defense, uh, do -do -do, 84 strength, level 50, which actually goes to 62 when equipped, and 670 def 8 defense when equipped with the green bonus. So interesting. Uh, we also have Vidala's Fetlock, which can be upgraded with Lemco Perfect Diamond. And that goes from 41 defense, 95 strength, level 25, to uh, 64 defense, 163 strength, level 60, which goes up to 72 when equipped. And uh, definitely not a good upgrade for the uh, Vidala's Fetlock boots. Um, there is a kick damage increase for Vidala's Fetlock, and uh, let me go over that real quick just to be absolutely thorough. So uh, when you start out, the kick damage is 8 to 16, which is relatively low. Um, when you upgrade them one tier, you go to the uh, Battle Boots, which is uh, kick damage 37 to 64. And then when you upgrade them to the third tier, which is the Mirrored Boots, um, you go to kick damage of 50 to 145. Um, if you were in a position where you were magic finding early on on a kick sin, I could see upgrading them one tier for the kick damage uh, because you do get the 50% magic find bonus with the amulet. So you could use the amulet and the boots together, get your 50%, and then you could, um, you know, use some other items. And the kick damage would matter in that scenario, but I definitely can't see upgrading them to the third tier, um, even for the kick damage. I feel like by the time you hit level 72, you're definitely going to need something a little bit better than these. Uh, all in all, I don't really see a good reason to upgrade these past Tier 2. None of them are really that great when you upgrade them past Tier 2, and uh, some of them can even be argued as leave it at Tier 1. Um, the boots probably should be left at Tier 1, to be honest. The armor is a decent Tier 1 to Tier 2 upgrade, and the bow is a decent Tier 1 to Tier 2 upgrade if you're still using it toward the end of normal difficulty. And of course, the amulet can't be upgraded. Not really sure what to think about this set. And if you think about it, minus the bow. Um, minus the bow, we do have 50% magic find, 7% mana steal, 15 to deck, 75 to attack rating, a little decent amount of defense, uh, to fire resistance, all resistance is 8, and some faster run walk. I mean, uh, honestly, on just about any character, um, this little tri-piece bonus right here at level 14 might actually be kind of nice. Um, and two-piece bonus, honestly, is also kind of nice. I mean, 7% mana steal, 75 attack rating, 15 life, 20% res cold resistance, 50% better chance of magic items, and all resistances 8 with 30% faster run walk is a pretty decent little two-piece bonus. I'm actually very impressed with the uh, Vidalis Snare Amulet and the, um, the Vidalis Fetlock Boot Combo. Not bad. 
Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it is about the Dallas rig. And uh, as always, keep watching.